If you're thinking about breast augmentation surgery, you know, using one of these, a breast implant, then you're probably gonna think about, hmm, what cup size could I be or do I want to be? Or if I get a certain size implant, what cup size am I going to be afterwards? Well, I always tell people, sorry, there's no such thing as cup size. Why is that? Well, because all of the brands size differently. And guess what? Cup size was invented by the garment industry as a convenience so we can all buy clothes, right? So bras come in different sizes, but it, is, it isn't like breasts came in A, B, C, D, and then that's how they started making bras. That's just how they started making bras as a convenience to sort out the different range of sizes. So for example, an implant that's about this size and a very tiny person might make the cup size go up quite a lot. Whereas the same size implant in a bigger frame person with broad shoulders might barely make a difference in the cup size because she's already a larger lady. So that's why this particular implant might be a B in one person and a D in another person, simply based on the frame of the person that the implant is being placed. But cup size is much like, I always joke, pant size, right? Our butts aren't made in, you know, four, six, eight, ten but that's how we buy pants. So breasts also don't come in A, B, C, D, but that's how we buy bras. So there's no guarantee of cup size. You're gonna to go to three different stores. You're gonna be sized in three different bra sizes, just like you are now. And after your breast surgery, you're still gonna open your bra door drawer and have a whole bunch of different sizes, just like you do now. <laughs>